we all have the smartphones, tech devices. I'd like, I'm curious what your opinions are on do those help or hurt our brain circuitry? There's actually a lot that's being done and being developed now in terms of like using a tablet as part of some of the clinical trials right. that Kate talked about mm -hmm. um, to monitor somebody's change in their memory and their function. So actually also thinking about it in that way as, and, and possibly can they do it in the home? So do you need to actually have an interaction with a healthcare provider mm -hmm. to monitor change over time? And as we learn more about that, then you can almost imagine a future where you could translate that over into something that we could all sit here and do on our phones or do on our tablets and say, oh, okay, I get my score, I get my risk score, I'm, I'm this risk. We're not there yet, but we are absolutely moving in that type of direction. So the technology can help us with our day-to-day -day life, but also our brain sometimes are on the autopilot, right? So you don't <coughs> think about that anymore. So this is where the brain exercise is so important. Shut off the autopilot. If you go to one route to the school, to your hockey game, take a different route. Mm -hmm. If you are right-handed, if you brush your, uh, try to brush your teeth with your left hand. That's so an interesting one. So if you're right-handed and you always brush your teeth with your right hand, hand right. even comb your hair, hand. think about it, because okay. there is a lot of research in that particular area showing that how you can help to train your brain so that don't be lazy, try something new, learning a new language, pick up a hobby.